Hello my friends, I'm Rich Larson and I'm the RC Tire Guy. Today we have something that needs no introduction. The 2021 Beta 300 RR Race Edition. This will be my new machine coming off of the Gas Gas EC300. As many of you have asked about the performance of the Beta 300, the Moto Station listened and found one in St. George, Utah at Factory Power Sports. I was happy to drive down and pick it up. I'm extremely excited to put some time on this bike and once again break down the pros and cons of the performance of this machine. I've never really tested a beta motorcycle. Other than briefly doing a few wheelies on a borrowed bike, I've never experienced what beta has to offer. As we see a growing presence of the brand in the off-road market, I'm anxious to put this bike through the ringer and let you guys know how it stacks up. Now, of course, before I start really testing this machine, I have to prepare it for hard enduro abuse. I know I've mentioned this before, but I'm an advocate of a stock machine. I don't do a lot as far as aftermarket parts. I'm a real believer in adapting and using the machine the way it's built. And truthfully, I think the majority of the time, the factory that builds the bike has a better understanding of performance than a lot of the aftermarket companies. So keep that in mind. Other than protection, this is the way the bike and most of my other bikes will stay. Of course, you guessed it, the first thing we change is tires. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times your tires are the only contact point with the ground and arguably the most important aftermarket part on your machine I run a tire I know and trust so for hard enduro it's foam inserts on the front and rear for no flats with the JX8 Gakota rear tire and the VX30 front tire that's what suits my style when setting up this bike and that's where I'm starting on this beta now moving on to jetting making sure that the bike runs crisp and clean nowadays I I really trust the manuals. For my elevation and temperature, it's the 38 Pilot N2ZJ needle and a 160 main. The manual says second clip, so we'll start there and adjust accordingly. That was the starting point, and just testing it in the parking lot, this thing runs smooth. I've said it before, I don't think there's a better carburetor system than the 36 millimeter Kian carb. It's tried and true. Let's talk suspension. I set the sag to 120 millimeters, and I usually set the clickers to the comfort starting point in the manual. And I'll be honest with you guys, they'll probably stay that way. I may adjust a few clicks here and there, but I believe believe in adapting and adjusting to my machine, not the other way around. I make sure to remove unnecessary electrical that I don't personally need in hard enduro or trail situations. And really, breaking these parts can be expensive. I removed the headlight and tail light, signal and light switch on the handlebar, and the odometer and mile per hour gauge. Again, for me, they aren't super necessary, and when the bike tumbles down a hill, they are easily broken and expensive. While working on the Beta, I wanted to note the easily removable electrical components. The wiring is extremely well routed. I love when things are easy to remove. I'm definitely not a fan of splicing or fighting with wiring, so that was a big plus. Now, moving on to some must-haves for my style of riding, protection. We have to start with the skid plate. I've added the SXS slide plate, the original linkage slash frame protection. I've ran these for years, and whenever I test something else, I end up going back to the SXS. It's simple, and best of all, it works. Another must-have is radiator guards. Of course, I'm going to tip over here and there, and the bulletproof design radiator guards are a staple in hard enduro situations. These are only available through a beta dealer, so all you beta riders, that's how you order them. Along with the radiator guards, I've added the Trail Tech radiator fan. After testing other brands of radiator fans, I always end up using the Trail Tech. Every bike I've sold has had one on it, and I've never had a problem. A friend of mine, Chris from Off Grid Syndicate, makes some rad add-ons. Chris made the Sherco edit we did a while back called Pan for Gold, which you can check out right here. He sent these clear handguards, which will be rad for filming clutch control, off-grid bar ends, and breakaway levers. Now, I'm very picky about my levers, especially the clutch lever. I personally like the stock feel more than any aftermarket lever. 
Off-Grid specifically copied the shape of the stock lever for my liking. With the small amount of testing I've done, so far I'm really liking the feel. So I'll be interested to test it more and let you guys know what I think. He also makes these custom leather pull straps. These are extremely high quality and customizable, down to the color and style of leather as well as the thread color. And they're a great addition in those really technical situations. That's it. I'm a simple guy. These bikes are incredible and running them close to stock is the best way for me to accurately review how this machine stacks up against the other brands I've tested. We have much more info coming on this 2021 Beta 300RR Race Edition and I can't wait to keep you guys up to date on my thoughts about this beautiful machine. I hope you guys are enjoying the channel and if you are, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as well as follow us on Instagram at IRCMoto and my personal Instagram page at RitzLarson511. And until next time, keep shredding.